if you're the type of person that, you know, keeps everything bottled up inside and you're looking for that particular type of outlet to release everything you hold inside, then maybe that outlet is creating videos. I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, what is she doing? What, what does she mean by that? What I mean is, if you are a creator by nature, if you find that you have this need to build something from scratch and, you know, develop it from start to a certain point, I wouldn't necessarily say finish, but to a certain point where you feel that it's flourishing and you are gaining back from it, then maybe content creation or even just video creation is where you belong. Maybe this is something that you can do or use as a tool towards something, right? Um, I know for me, I, I actually have been creating videos since like, <laughs> basically since high school. I'm in my 30s now, so it's been many years. And I originally went to college to study 3D animation. And so one of the courses within the program that we had to take was, of course, film. And I learned so much in that course. It was actually the hardest course within the program. Learning what I learned through that course when it comes to um, filming, um, being able to hit that record button and start talking or acting, and then the editing. The editing afterwards is always a challenge, always a challenge. Uh, but it's a challenge in a good way because you feel you feel like you've, you know, gained something from all that editing work. Because editing is like probably, I'd probably say editing is like 60% of, you know, video creation. If not 60, probably 70. But it, it takes, it, it takes, what's going on with my light? There we go. It takes a certain amount of energy and also focus and well, overall just knowledge when it comes to editing. You have to understand uh, different transitions, cuts, coloration, gradation, audio, and just and just like more overall basic 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 stuff, right? When it comes to understanding how to match the content of that video with how the viewer would perceive it and also what sorts of emotions your video will invoke in the person that's watching in that viewer that's watching so it can be if you're not if you don't live in the realm of, you know, television, f movies, uh, you know, just overall, like, even just social media or anything that revolves around pictures, then it's not really, or the development of pictures, I should say, it's not really something that, you know, you'll grasp. Because a lot of people find video editing to be hard. Not challenging, but just like really, really tough to do. 
even just like the basic stuff, just like basic, you know, cut, um, you know, adjusting the audio, cleaning up the audio, getting rid of any grain or noise in the audio, uh, making sure that the voice, the voice or the sound is clear. matching certain transitions in a way that makes sense with how it goes from one scene to the next you know applying the little bit of extra effects to enhance emotion things like that people just they just they just won't understand even though we see it like day in and day out in whatever we're watching it's just not something that, you know, most people are familiar with um, or even want to get familiar with, really, because it's it's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. So, yeah, I don't know. Just just something to 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 think about when it comes to creating videos that doesn't even include the uploading part. <laughs> uploading is a, uploading videos. It's another like another level. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I I personally I've always enjoyed creating videos even just like on my phone. My favorite video editor of all time would have to be After Effects. Uh even though it's more of an effect type of tool, I have always for the most part used it to, you know, overall edit my videos. I've used so many other programs like Final Cut. Uh, I never really got into Adobe Premiere. I I, I couldn't really <laughs> I couldn't really grasp Adobe Premiere. I remember when I the first time I opened Adobe Premiere, I was like, "Where are all the tools?" It was just the interface was just so simple, and I just couldn't find anything. So I said, "Nope, I'm not using this." <laughs> but yeah, Final Cut has has definitely been my one of my major ones when it came to I learned that one in school in college. I learned that one in college, but it was the one I started to use the most apart from After Effects. Um, when it came to just like basic editing, I really loved it, um, and I still love it. I don't I don't use that anymore, but because um, I mostly edit my videos on my phone everything is pretty much everything can pretty much be done on your phone these days another useful video editor that i used to use is camtasia super super basic super easy to use it just it's just it's just it's just nice you know really really nice for editing and of course the one that i now use the most often is a phone app called InShot. Uh, everybody is familiar with InShot. InShot and CapCut are like the most popular video editor uh, apps that you can use on your phone. But InShot is just, I'm in love with InShot. I've been using InShot for years now, probably since, i probably say since 2018. So it is my go-to. For video editing it just it's it's smooth easy to use it's simple and it has it has a lot there are a lot of features in there that I still haven't used um, like the cutouts and the um, we call it the color alpha I think it's it's it's, it's what it calls it. it's basically where you can like green screen or blue screen up um, colors so if you have like one, like have like a person standing behind a green screen, you can easily take the green screen out. But there's so many unique things that you can do in there that I need to explore like pronto. But in cut, uh, sorry, in shot is definitely my number one video edit editing tool for sure. So yeah, um, if you are interested in. You, you know, starting off with a basic editing editing tool. I highly recommend Camtasia. Camtasia is pretty, 
is pretty simple and it's easy. It's not complicated and every a lot of the uh, effects are pretty much already preset for you. So that's really basic. Um, that one's on an app, like a phone app. It's actually a desktop uh, application. So you can use it on your computer, which a lot of people, you know, like to use. I, I miss editing my videos on my desktop actually. But if you, you know, somewhat master Camtasia, then InShot is definitely the next step up. And then of course, after that, you can hit up Adobe, the Adobe video edit editing um, softwares. But I love video creation. It is something that I intend to move forward with. As you can see, I've been uploading a video like pretty much every day. I never thought I would get back to this because I used to have a YouTube channel that just didn't work out. And <laughs> I swore I would never come back to you know, video editing like this because it just didn't work out for me the first time. But I am finding that I'm enjoying it this time around just because I have more of a purpose with using, you know, with creating videos. And that purpose is surrounding LiveGood. <laughs> I am an affiliate of LiveGood. And in doing, in being an affiliate with Live Good, I'm able to find purpose by promoting their products, as well as some of the other products I've tried throughout my, you know, my years. So it's been like so far, because I recently just started creating videos again. And it's been, I don't want to say interesting. Interesting is so boring <laughs> to say. It's definitely been a wonderful creative outlet for me. I'll, I'll just, leave, I'll just put it that way. And I really hope to utilize this video creation with regards to using it to promote products or to review products in a way that, you know, sends a positive message to people as well as invokes a reaction in people that makes them actually want to engage with any of these products, right? So yeah, um, if you are thinking about getting into video creation, I highly recommend it. Even if it's just as a hobby, that's fine too. For me, I'm using this as a tool to advertise my business as well as Live Good, who I'm affiliated with. So it is something I look forward to getting more into in the future for sure. And if it doesn't work out, <laughs> then it doesn't work out, you know, but so far, I am having fun. Yeah, I'm definitely having fun with this. So, all right, I will leave it here. And I hope to, I hope that you'll look out for more of my videos in the future. All right, ciao.